Hello, this is Adam again, um, detailing the next big phase of John and my uh, journey toward parenthood, and it is the embryo transfer. Very exciting time. So uh, it's obviously the transfer of the embryo into our surrogate. So here is uh, me, Adam, looking <laughs> looking weird, and um, um, my lovely surrogate Mary, and this was September 9th uh, afternoon. We were at the uh, fertility clinic to uh, do the embryo transfer, and her, her husband was actually the one that took the picture. And um, it was a great day, very exciting, very exciting to meet Mary and her husband in person. Uh, we all had a very great um, few hours ahead of, beforehand to, to talk and get to know each other a little better. And it was really great connecting with them. And then, of course, the, the big event at the uh, fertility clinic. So the other important person in this process is, of course, the embryo, baby's first picture. This is the embryo that was transferred. Um, of course, the embryo was frozen originally. There is a slight chance that an embryo that is thawed would not survive that process. Very, very tiny, slight chance, but our, our embryo did fine. And, uh, and of course, was used for the transfer. The transfer is pretty much as you would imagine. They take a, uh, a long catheter and suck up the uh, embryo with some fluids. And then, um, as expected, place the catheter into the uterus of the woman. <clears throat> and then release the fluid into the uterus. And that's about it. Pretty straightforward. And then they can use an ultrasound to... Um, view the process as it's occurring. Um, so Mary told me that they were able to check that the uh, embryo was sucked up into the catheter and that afterwards it was no longer present. So it should be uh, have transferred properly. Um, when they use the uh, uh, ultrasound, they can actually see the catheter entering. So this colored shaded area here is the inner lining of the uterus. And then, of course, uh, after the fluid has been expelled into the uterus, they can, in theory, see the fluid. Can't necessarily 100% guarantee that the uter uh, embryo is in the fluid because the embryo is way too tiny to see in this process, but it would be in that fluid. So that is all pretty exciting. Um, during the transfer, um, I was not present. Um, um, because of pandemic limitations and trying to limit the number of people present in the room, um, uh, Mary was only allowed to bring one person, and so she brought her husband, and I was perfectly fine with that because at this point on, it's all about the surrogate. So you want the surrogate to be happy and comfortable and relaxed, stress-free, and, of course, she's going to feel more comfortable with her husband there than some guy she met today for the first time, you know? I mean, sure, we met on video, on Zoom, um, many weeks before that day, but still, only met us in person once, uh, you know? So that was all good. All right. After the embryo uh, arrives in the uterus, it will... Um, attach to the inner lining of the uterus, fog as well, and then embed in the uterus and start to, uh, here they say invasion, but basically be pulled down into the lining of the uterus. And that takes a few days to occur. Um, so of course they recognize, uh, re recommend that the, uh, the woman um, not do anything too um, energetic. So, you know, sure, you know, maybe relax that, that day, the day of, and into the next day. And then, you know, maybe not do aerobics for a few days or high-impact um, cardio or something. I don't know. Um, so that is what should hopefully happen. And then after that, it's just a matter of waiting. So um, somewhere between a week and a half, two weeks of waiting to find out if the embryo transfer was successful. Uh, reason why 
you have to wait is you have to find out if the embryo did implant into the uterus properly and securely. And the way this is determined is by detecting the hormone human chorionic gonadotropin. This hormone is produced by cells found in the placenta. So after the embryo embeds into the uterine lining, cells from both the uterus lining and from the embryo itself will start to form the placenta, including cells that produce this hormone. And then after that, you have to wait till the levels of the hormone is high enough uh, concentration that enough of it can be removed uh, from the bloodstream and into the woman's um, body so that uh, it can be tested. Uh, so for us, about a week and a half later, we will uh, sh she will go in and have uh, blood drawn and tested for human chorionic gonadotropin, and its presence would mean that, yes, the transfer was a success, and she is now pregnant. Fingers crossed. That's what we are all hoping for. Um, and, of course, that blood test is about as absolutely guaranteed you can uh, be in a test for pregnancy as um, there is. Um, Mary mentioned to us that uh, apparently some intended parents ask the, uh, the surrogate, or I guess the um, gestational carrier, to uh, do at-home over-the-counter pregnancy tests, testing the urine. Uh, but to be honest, us, I don't, I didn't tell her to do that because it doesn't really make sense to me. Because um, if you get a positive result, yeah, sure, that's. 99% likely, yes, the pregnancy uh, did happen. But if you get a negative result, you, you don't know for sure. Because again, you have to wait long enough for the uh, tissue, the uh, placental cells, to be able to produce enough of this hormone that it gets to high enough concentrations in the woman's bloodstream and then pulled out into the urine and is at high enough concentrations that can be detected by the present pregnancy test. So it's very possible that um, she would get these negative tests, which would be very disappointing, and yet still at the end, you'd go in for the blood test. So why have all this disappointment? So we'll just wait, we're just waiting for that blood test. And um, yeah, and so time is weird and I find myself distracted um, every once in a while as I'm doing stuff because I start thinking about uh, what the future may bring, so yes. That is the implantation of the embryo, the embryo transfer, and I um, hope you found that helpful.